When you sign up to get internet access with an internet service provider, there are various network settings supplied to you, including the domain name system addresses. Instead of relying on the default DNS server of your ISP, which can be slower, less private, and in some cases less reliable, changing to a free public DNS server is a great way to improve your internet speed and overall experience on Windows 10. In short, without going into a full explanation of DNS, it's best to think of DNS as a translation service. For example, in the address bar when you want to go to a website, instead of typing in the IP address for every website that you visit, the DNS lets you type in a user-friendly domain name that gets translated into the actual IP address, making it easier to connect with that site. In a previous video on this channel, I gave several tips to increase the internet speed, including DNS. In this video, I'll attempt to take a deeper dive and give additional details to help you choose the best DNS server and settings for your computer. Let's now go through the steps to change the DNS settings. First, I'll go through the steps using the Settings app, which is now the easiest way to do this on Windows 10. And afterwards, for those of you that prefer the old school methods or have another computer lying around with Windows XP or 7, I'll show you the steps using the control panel. For those of you that are new to Windows 10, to open the Settings app, left-click the Windows Start menu icon in the lower left, then click on Settings. Go to Network and Internet, in the left pane, based on your connection, select either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. For this computer, that would be Ethernet. Select the Connected Network. Scroll down to the IP Settings section and click on Edit. In the drop-down menu, select Manual. Toggle the switch on for IPv4. Leave the top three boxes empty. And coming up, we'll be typing the addresses into the boxes for both preferred DNS and alternate DNS. Before entering any information, let's take a quick look at the best DNS services. Google Public DNS is perhaps the most well-known and one of the fastest with data centers worldwide, but its privacy policy doesn't meet the higher standards of some of its competitors. Cloudflare has a public DNS with impressive speeds and an excellent privacy policy that will never log your IP address, sell your data, and all debug logs are removed from their system within 24 hours. And OpenDNS, which is now owned by Cisco, is also very popular with more than 90 million users. It offers fast speeds, phishing sites are blocked by default, and they claim to have 100% reliability and uptime. There are other DNS servers out there to choose from than those mentioned. I'll put a link in the description with a more expansive list. I'd recommend choosing one of these three when you get started. What works best for me may not work best for you. There are numerous variables, including distance from the DNS server, that can impact performance. So use one of these for a few days. If you don't see any noticeable improvement, try out another one. My personal favorite is Cloudflare. So for preferred DNS, I'll enter 1.1.1.1. And for alternate DNS, I'll enter 1.0.0.1. And when you're done, click on the Save button. After which, you'll need to restart your computer for the new DNS settings to take effect. We'll now change the DNS using the control panel. Let's go to the search box. On older operating systems, you may have to click the Windows icon for search to appear. When you find it, do a search for control panel and open it. So we're on the same page. In the upper right, switch to the large icons layout. Then select Network and Sharing Center. In the left pane, select Change Adapter Settings. Right click on the one listed here that is connected to the internet and select Properties. Find Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Make sure it's checked and select it. Click on Properties. Select, use the following DNS server addresses, and as we did earlier in the Settings app, enter in your preferred and alternate DNS addresses. I won't be changing any of these. When you're done, click OK to save your settings. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. While you're here, do check out our other videos, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with the latest on Windows 10 and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.